In this video, we'll be talking about manipulating audio using chops. So the fastest way to get audio into a touch designer is to use the audio file in. And this has a sample uh, selection of audio playing back already um, that we can hear if we use the audio device out. Um, the audio device out will default to uh, your system defaults here. You can select the driver and the device. Uh, mine will play back through the speakers and I'm just gonna lower the volume a little bit here uh, just so it doesn't blast uh, your ears when I do wire this in. So uh, once I wire this in, we'll start hearing the audio that's playing back in this audio file. A good way to turn this off if it's too loud is to just hit that active flag here and that will uh, make sure that it, it turns off and you can adjust your volume accordingly. Um, one thing that we're looking at uh, while we're looking at these uh, audio files playing back is you'll notice that the, the chop uh, is our wa a waveform. And this is actually um, a, a single frame of audio that gets played back. So if I middle mouse button here, we can see that I have two channels, my left and right. Um, and you can see that we have 735 samples being played back over one frame, okay? And that's because this audio was recorded at uh, uh, 44,100 samples per second. And a frame um, uh, takes about 1 uh, 60th of a, uh, uh, of a second to play back. So that comes out to uh, 735 samples that are available to us in this window. So that's, that's essentially what you're seeing in this waveform. Um, if we wanted to control this in an interesting way, what we could do is maybe grab an LFO and set this LFO to be square and then the offset to 0.5 and the amplitude to 0.5. So we get this nice digital signal happening. And then let's say we wanted to uh, mute this audio file every time this um, LFO hit zero, we could use a math chop to grab both the LFO and the audio file and then combine the chops using multiply. And now every time that um, LFO is one, we'll hear the audio play back. So this is a good way of starting to control some of your audio using other chop networks. Um, let's say we had a movie file in that uh, had some audio to play back. Uh, firstly, uh, let's pick a video file that we can use. Uh, so count um, has uh, a little bit of audio in that, and I just happen to know that, but if you wanted to see if a video file had audio to play back, you can always look at the info chop. The info chop will give you a lot of information about the chop and how it's been loaded. Uh, but one of the ones that we're looking for is this MV has audio. And we can grab that scope directly just by using this down arrow here and grabbing MV has audio. And as long as that's one, that means that this movie file in actually has some audio playing. We can play back that audio by using an audio movie chop. Um, if we drag and drop the movie file in onto the audio movie chop, we can see that that uh, audio is now playing back. And of course, we can hear that if we use the audio device out, uh, and I'll bring the volume down again, and then we can hear that play out. So that's a good way of playing back audio from a video. Um, the last little bit that I want to show here is if I have that same audio file in playing, how can I start to pull information out of that audio that I can use in a um, uh, audio visualization? And one of my favorite ways of doing that is using the audio spectrum uh, chop. So if I were to wire that in, we can see that the audio spectrum chop actually breaks out all of the frequencies that are playing back in this frame and graph them uh, in, a, in an, uh, a way that's useful for us. So this is a good way of pulling out specific samples that might have meaning for like the low end, the mid end, and the high end that are graphed uh, accordingly. Um, another way of manipulating audio in Touch Designer is by using the audio filter chop. Uh, the audio filter chop will allow you to filter out certain frequencies um, and use different filters that are common in audio processing, such as a low pass, which we can see if we grab another audio spectrum 
and um, chop and wire it into that audio filter and then play around with a little bit of this filter cut off and we can get rid of some of that high frequency um, uh, audio that's happening and just stick with that low end um, on, the, on the left side of our graph here. So this was a little bit of manipulating audio in Touch Designer using chops.